real quick, we talked. Uh, and I just want to let you know that all this hard work, okay, all this hard work, it's it's building you from the inside out, okay. All that strength again, it starts in here and it slowly starts to branch out. So in the first couple of weeks, when we're pushing ourselves, and you know, as we reset things, if it was your your first challenge, your second, third. We still have that, you know, that general soreness from kind of re-kicking things in, hitting that reset by those first two weeks. Again, we have that like equal opportunity, total body soreness, okay? And it feels like our whole body's just gonna fall. We're gonna wake up and our legs gonna be over there, arms gonna be over there. But we push through that and we get stronger from it. And then the next couple of weeks, we, we see that we're a little bit less sore maybe, but we feel a little bit better. We feel like we have a little bit more energy, we're a little bit stronger. And all that incremental improvement, all those days there, or you gave one more push up when I asked you to, okay? Or you held the plank for five more seconds because you wanted to, okay? And that's a change in mindset that I take as like a huge win. When you do an extra five, extra 10 seconds, extra one rep because you wanna push yourself, not just because I'm asking you to, that is so huge, so, so huge, all right? And that's a change and that's, that's becoming a lifestyle change, wanting to be better, wanting to push yourself. Um, so, I want to talk one more time because, it, because it's week 10 um, and because we've had a whole journey thus far, we've had a whole chapter and now we're looking at a brand new chapter that starts on June 15th, the next challenge, we've got the legacy week in between, okay? Uh, I'm bringing it back again to those roadblocks along the way, those stumbling blocks, those things that just want to kind of take us off our path and push the wind out of ourselves as opposed to, you know, fueling the fire. Um, it's, it's important to remember that doing, making mistakes and, and messing up and having stumbling blocks along the way, okay? I wanna let you know that that's better, okay? That's better than doing nothing. And the re the, this message, it doesn't come from me. It comes from someone that I actually look to for, um, for inspiration who has so many inspirational messages and quotes and you probably, maybe you've heard of him, maybe not. Uh, his name's John Wooden and he was a college basketball coach. Um, I forget exactly what years he was a college basketball coach back when. Um, so many things that I look to him, whether it's for basketball, because I use him a lot for basketball, or just a way of life and kind of living. And he gave one, there's so many of them, but he gave one message that I'll share with you guys real quick. Is if, if you're not making mistakes, then you're not really doing anything. I'm positive that, that a doer makes mistakes. You got to be doing something to have those stumbling blocks along the way. Having those roadblocks there, having those things that come up where you got to make a choice A or B, that means you're on the right path because those things are presenting themselves to you along the path to your goal. If we weren't doing anything, they wouldn't be there altogether. So having these things come up, having these choices, having these days where it's cold, having these days where we need to push ourselves and motivate ourselves a tiny little bit, have a little bit of our own fire, that means we're on the right path. So keep, keep that in mind, all right? Making mistakes means that you're doing it. Making mistakes means that it's part of it and a doer makes mistakes. And you guys are, again, look at what you did in the last 45 minutes. My God, you're doers. Okay, way to push yourselves. Let this take you through the rest of your day. Thank you guys for pushing yourselves as hard as you did. I truly appreciate it. I hope you sweat good. All right, I hope you grab, I hope you have the great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow for some up, uh, lower body -ness. You guys did amazing. Let me unmute you guys real quick so we can say congratulations to each other. 48 days stronger. How about that? Seriously, let's bring it in nice and close or cease to impress. One, two, three, take it to the max. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys. Every day. Let's do it.